Okay, this is based off a real shooting that happened. This is a vehicle, and this is the guy that was defending himself from three guys that were armed. The confrontation started over here, so he moved to his vehicle. And the way it worked out is this guy came out right here, and he saw him. He had cover. And rather than staying behind cover, he decided to get out in the open and try to shoot this guy. And then at the same time, this guy was coming around the corner but he was right at the edge there. And then this guy came out running. He missed this guy or might have hit him. I'm not sure. But then this guy comes over and he's praying and spraying, just randomly shooting, not even aiming. And he ended up hitting this guy. So we're going to go back through this and I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Um, one of the things we have to remember is that we can only kill one person at a time with one piece of cover meaning slicing the pie. You can only take out one person at a time if, if everybody's got a gun, so you have to use your cover to your advantage. This is what should have happened. This guy here was getting ready to come around the corner, but you can still, he still got cover. This guy here comes out. What he should have done is he started, he should have started just defending himself, shooting at this guy here. And let's say that this guy ran off, okay? Let's say that this guy ran off, and let's say the other guy ran off, but he's still maintaining cover. That's a success, because these two guys are out of your way. But at the same time, you're watching so that if this guy comes around the corner, you can take him out. So, so the point I'm trying to make is you want to use your cover and stay put. This isn't competition shooting. You're not, you're not shooting for a prize. You're not trying to get from this cover to this cover if you don't have to. The whole objective is is being able to kill one person at a time with one piece of cover and then going to the next to the next to the next. This is what it would like this is what it would look like in competition shooting. You got two guys here or three, let's say that's three around the corner. Boom 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 boom. But in real life if these guys all had guns how do you know that that boom boom incapacitated that guy? How do you know that? He's got to be down first before you can engage the other ones. So if you go boom boom on this guy, and he's not down yet, by the time you go boom 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 boom, this guy could still be shooting at you. And that's one of the reasons why competition shooting sometimes is so hung up on speed and the stopwatch that they don't think about their tactics and the way they shoot. Speed is fast, yes. You know, fast uh, shooting. But the thing is, is that you don't want to use your speed to come out of cover when you shouldn't come out of cover. And what it does is sometimes competition shooting gives you a mindset of blowing your cover rather than staying put because you're so, your mind is so programmed with, I got to rush, I got to go fast, you know. I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta run. You know, stuff like that. Um, the proof on this is uh, Dennis Tuller, law enforcement. The proof against you know coming out of cover so quickly. Dennis Tuller, uh, Salt Lake City is one that came up with the Tuller's drill. He had said that seventy percent of law enforcement officers get killed because of inadequate cover. Well, that tells you something. That tells you that we're only putting a 30% emphasis on cover, but we're putting a 70% emphasis on speed. Now, can't, we should reverse that. We should have 70% cover, 30% emphasis on speed. But the way we train today is everybody has to go so fast. They just love that stopwatch. Come around the corner, boom, 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 boom. And you don't even know that you're setting yourself up for a potential ambush. You could even be Jerry McCulloch. And if these guys are low ready and they each have a half a second shooting time because they're already low ready, even Jerry McCulloch, if he took out this guy, these other guys could shoot him and kill him. Yes, he's fast. Yes, yes, he's a fast shooter. I know that. But the thing is, you can still get killed out in the open. You always want to use cover. I don't care how fast you are. You have to use your cover and you have to stay put sometimes. You don't want to get into this stopwatch mentality 
where everything is a stopwatch. Now, stopwatches are okay uh, to test yourself and stuff, but it's not good to get hung up too much on stopwatches. And that's one of the problems why many are, are losing uh, gunfights, uh, law enforcement and private citizens, is because they're using and mirroring the same. They're, they're mirroring like a mirror, you know, a reflection, um, that of uh, competition shooters and all that kind of stuff and law enforcement and stuff like that. But when you mirror somebody that's just into speed, like a competition shooter, for example, then what you're doing is you're taking that mindset from what you learned from that and applying it out on the streets. And it's just it's just way different out on the street than it is, you know, winning a trophy or having a competition things set up where you can memorize all the places where you're going and you can even pre-shoot you can even memorize like here you'll have you'll memorize that there's two targets right here and you already know where they're at and here you'll memorize that there's a target behind here and that stuff you can pre-shoot it you can you can walk the course before you shoot it but in real life it's not like that real life you don't have a practice run or a dry run real life is real life you have real bullets that are flying your direction and can kill you so that's why we need to practice using cover and we also need to think about the fact that we don't want to play this rush game this stopwatch crap that a lot of people are doing in their mind because they refuse to practice nothing but stopwatches Stopwatches are okay, but sometimes you need to practice where you're not having that damn stopwatch with you. Where you can just use your cover and just take out that target, that paper or steel target. Make sure you're hitting in a four-inch area in the center of mass a couple times. Then slice the pie, go to the next one, go to the next one. So, so this is something, you know... Um, Sometimes I challenge conventional wisdom, and there's a lot of guys that <clears throat> have the guts to do it to challenge these shooting sports and stuff like that, the way they train people, uh, especially the ones that go off a stopwatch. Because although a stopwatch is okay for your time and evaluating yourself for certain skill sets, you don't want to have a mindset of being so amped up that you're willing to come out of your cover and not be safe anymore. So there is a time and a place where you can't think about being fast as far as moving out of cover like a competition shooter would. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, some of my thoughts about this. Thank you for watching.